Hi guys, welcome to my video on the BMW E61. This is going to be for the uh, rear bumper removal. So start off, you need an 8mm socket, a little wrench just like this, nice and short, because you need to get inside uh, the wheel arch. So just to give you a better idea, a bit clearer with the picture, um, the three 8 mils, the bottom one I've already taken out, there's the middle one, and there's the ratchet on the top one. So they're the ones to remove. So I remove those from each side, and then inside the boot, there's a little plastic cap. Take the cap off, this is a 10 mil socket. Remove that, and then the same for the other side. Then underneath the car, uh, you should have some fixings. Looks like mine are missing. Um, there's some sort of plastic clips, so there should be one there. Then one towards the middle, where is it, just there, and then moving along, there'll be a few others, um, there's another one, but obviously because someone's fit the tow bar on this previously, mine are all missing, um, and they've moved a bit of plastic as well there, so, and then there'll be one around the other side towards the front, near where you've got my little passenger, little grasshopper over there. So um, they obviously need to come out and I need to replace mine. So, so with all those bolts removed, uh, I literally just pulled it back from each side and then just lifted it out from the middle. Um, and it's come off. So um, it's quite easy. It's um, not such a major job. Okay, just to add, if you do have parking sensors on your car, then you will have to unclip, which is down there. You can see the cable, so um, it should run along both sides. Um, but obviously, yeah, remove your cables. There we go, you can see the other one. Take those out to fully remove your bumper. So in total, I had three parking sensors to also remove uh, I had to untangle the cabling from just uh, some simple clips inside the bumper and there was one other little switch as well or connector. Um, so just take all your connectors out and then you can fully remove the bumper. So when reinstating your bumper, the side bits, obviously you can see where they line up, just a little bit around the boot area. Just got to make sure you go underneath this black clip all the way across and then it'll go into position relatively easy. And then just literally fasten your screws back in. So that's all lined up nice and neat. Uh, so just, uh, yeah, secure it back in with the bolts. And that's it, job done. Thanks for watching.